Good morning! Good morning everybody, how are you? Last week I showed you the boards that we created for this duplex apartment in the heart of Glasgow at Park Circus and Woodlands. Really, really desirable area of Glasgow. And these designs were created by the John Amable design team for Park Quadrant Residences and it's a series of 11 blocks and the exterior blends perfectly into the, the blonde sandstone of the original circus in Glasgow. And this was actually called the missing part in the crown. And if you look on the website of Park Quadrant Residences, you'll see on plan that there was a piece that wasn't completed. And this has sympathetically and beautifully been added to the terrace. So I'm in the third block in, I've been working on this for about three years. Uh, obviously things have slowed down a little bit, but it's all coming back fast and furiously, which is great. And, do you know, it's been such a great journey working with the architect and the developers to create the look and the feel and the scale that sympathetically allows this interior and this series of apartments to blend perfectly into this beautiful, beautiful area. Um, I can't wait to get um, to show you around the place, but what I will say about these particular apartments, and I've been working in show homes for years and years and years, and a lot of the time, maybe the, the foot or the floor plan's a little bit smaller and you have to do a couple of tricks to make the place seem bigger. This has not been the problem here. Because as you can see in the background there, every window is about six foot or eight foot by four foot wide. So I've got massive glazing where I can dress the windows with blinds, with voils, with curtains and the room sizes are excellent. Even when we get to the second and third bedroom, a double bed is no problem in the room. So I'm going to start off today by showing you this area here, which is an open plan kitchen, dining and living area. And it's quite a good trick to actually talk about this in its initial concept, because a lot of us have these um, interiors that we want to have open wall. So what I'm doing is I'm going to flip the camera and let you have a look. At the area I'm talking about. So here we have our kitchen, open plan, living and dining area. Now we all are wanting to do this. We want to make sure that if we're doing open plan, we're making maybe knocking down or knocking through that colours blend and the look will develop through the open plan. And the key point to getting this room right is very simply looking at coppers and golds and textures. Hello Dominique from Australia. Good morning McMo, McMomo. So you'll see here that even if it's a geometric design on the back of the stool, or if it's a geometric design on the fabric, or if there's a geometric pattern on the leather chairs, or on the metal chairs, that that's the key to creating the fact that this whole interior blends perfectly. Now, over the last two years, I would say, that we've kind of veered away from chromes and we've started to go for coppers and golds and brasses and it actually works excellently well. So whether you want to start doing that by introducing a lovely mirror in copper or you want to introduce simply some copper pots and pans or even if you want to take it a little bit slower with some accessories or even a lovely copper cheese grater, you can very easily start to introduce a warmer tone into the room. So planning, planning out the area. You want to make sure that although 
it all sits together, that in each area you create your own look. So for instance, if we take and isolate just the kitchen, we've got a beautiful wooden effect floor, a very simple effect of the wood effect, of the marble effect on the kitchen cupboards, but you add little details. So think about a warmer textured wall covering, which looks like fabric on the wall, which blends perfectly with the doors. But then we want to bring that pop of copper in to start to introduce it. And this lovely clock does the job. So although this kitchen is really what we all love, very cool and grey, we have our pops of copper and gold, which brings the design into play. Open plan is great unless you have a noisy kettle. Well, get a kettle that's not noisy, that's what I would say. <laughs> now, let's talk about other key factors that are going to pull your design together. Now, we've talked about the fact we've used copper and gold and geometric, but each week I always hint that lighting is super important for creating the right ambience and lighting is also very architectural. Now, these three light fittings are absolutely stunning. So we have, again, from Cotterill Light Centres, these very contemporary almost chandeliers, but for a little bit of fun, over the breakfast bar, we've got a fitting which has the old fashioned sort of brass and copper filament bulbs, which creates not only a great light effect, but look really, really architectural. So you'll see that the copper is bringing everything together. And once the kitchen's taken place and decided, you bring the copper in and the accessories, and that can take us through into the dining area. Now to create some drama, and in these beautiful apartments, each of them have this lovely bay, which I've flanked, that just put something either side, on a wave track ceiling system, this beautiful, almost stitched silk and cotton linen material, which brings a lovely echo into what is, and Glasgow is called, our dear green place because it's full of greenery and grasslands and parks. So this fabric here, although looking quite autumnal, is great to pull in the outside in for the fabrics. Now equally, this is another great way of creating a little bit of privacy. All the blinds are motorized and on the edge of them, you'll see I've taken a little strip of fabric and it's a great way if you've even bought some shop bought blinds to just put a little trim of your curtain fabric onto the edge of the blind and just gives you a really lovely coordinated look. Now, when it is sunny in Glasgow, and yes, believe you me, it can be, we need a little bit of shade. So as well as the blinds, I have a secondary track which you'll see on the ceiling there, called Wave. And I've introduced this lovely open mesh copper voil, which can give a little bit of coziness and softness at the window without it overtaking the look and becoming too much. Which leads us on to the dining area. Now, Graham, you've introduced little pops of the copper coming through, which look really, really good. Even down to the kitchen, you, uh, the, the eating utensils with the black and copper heads on them just works equally well. We bring in some warm woods and some coppers and brass, which link into some accessories. Again, tying into the boils and the curtains and pulling the look 
back in to the living room. Now, I'm a big fan, and you've seen this in a lot of my interiors and a lot of the work that Claudia and I do, is if we can't find a piece of art, which in this case we could because we've got this lovely copper effect print on the wall, but if you're finding it difficult to find wall art in the form of something framed, have a look at some architectural pieces. Now, this series of discs bring all the tones and colours of the design into the room. And it just gives a lovely bit of relief. So we've spoken about lighting. You've seen how we can bring the open plan feeling into the room to incorporate the three different areas. But the most important factor is comfort and coziness for when you're sitting, relaxing, like a Sunday morning, watching your favourite channel, which is obviously youtube.com forward slash John Amably Design. So let's talk about putting the meat on the bones and this area to make it feel more comfortable and more centred around your TV area, because we have the wooden floor effect, is invest in a lovely rug, which brings in all the sort of softer tones, some occasional furniture, in this case, the feature sideboard, which is great for storing all your books, CDs, any other storage, even a little mini bar. And this beautiful sideboard with the chevron effect wood on the front doors and the pewter and copper handles really tie the glass table, the wooden furniture and the upholstered pieces together. Now, another tip, if you don't have, as we have here, the luxury of space, if you want to create more space, go for a glass topped table because it gives you the surface to dine from, which is excellent. But it means you're not having a huge piece of marble or timber blocking into the floor area. And I love this as well, because if you can see the pattern of the leather on the chairs, just comes through the reflection. So the lighting has all been sourced from Cotterill Light Centres, um, who are my to-go-to -to shop, or Cotterill and Co. on the internet. The rug is from Designers Guild. I'm answering the questions as fast as I can as we go. Thanks, Sharon. But the furniture, I wanted to do something a little bit different when it came to the upholstery of furniture. And these sofas were created for me using a Designers Guild fabric. And they were made for me bespoke, that's tailor-made, from Art of Upholstery in Hillington. And they have done an amazing job. And not only were they built for comfort, but they look like designer pieces on their own. And then I have mentioned before. Have I mentioned before? <sighs> I love cushions. And these cushions pull in all the different tones and textures of the room. And again, it's good for you to mix from planes to patterns to florals, which give an absolutely excellent collection of finishes. Tying again to little seat pads we tied onto the stools, bringing in that metallic chevron effect again. And all in all, I think you'll agree that although this is open plan, it has areas of comfort and coziness. Caroline McFarlane, I'm knitting a cushion. That's my girl. <laughs> and you'll see that just creates a fantastic ambience and it's slightly different from everything else that's in vogue just now. But I think we need to introduce, and it's important for us all just now, when we have a little bit of extra time, is to look into different ways of designing and not just buying a collection or a selection of boring things, but mix and match and create your own look. So that is our open plan 
kitchen, dining, living room. Now, these wall art pieces are from my own supplier. I just go online and you'll see them in a lot of places. Um, shops like Dunelm, John Lewis, all do these. So I'm going to take you from here and I'm not going to show you everything today, but I'm going to show you the main wow factor points because I'm always saying to people, when you are going to sell your home, you want people to be able to just move in, but make sure the kitchen and the bathrooms are done because those are the expensive things that people might not necessarily want to have to do. Now, when I was designing the bathroom areas um, and en suites for these apartments, I decided to go for a slightly limited option, but change it from three different colors, but go for a similar tile in each. So if we look into this bathroom area, which is the smallest one, which is still so roomy, and we have a beautiful series of rectangular brick bond, which is, means I haven't put them on as a grid pattern, but we've taken the pattern and split it as if you were doing it, as if it was bricks on the wall, which gives a lovely detail. And also you can really see the veining of the marble as well. And what I also like to do is when I'm mixing my tiles, go for the same tile, but go for the square mat on the floor and moving up to the same tile, but go for a gloss effect, which is excellent for reflecting. Oh, somebody at the door. Hope it's my Cafe Alba breakfast. But you'll see from that room, I'm looking back into the hallway again. If we go into this bathroom, it's a similar look, with just a different color option. If you can recess cupboards into walls, these are excellent as well. But what a beautiful, dramatic, dreamy concept, which you'll see as you blend back into the living area, everything just sits perfectly. So from there, this is the duplex. So this is on two floors. And this wallpaper is a vinyl, which is hard wearing, which is great for not heavily trafficked areas, but areas that maybe need a little bit of extra care. So you can washable wipe these walls and then we're coming downstairs. And I've dimmed the lights here because what I want to do is take you into the master bedroom and give you, which I hope you'll see, is the wow factor. So the wow factor here is a beautiful, wrap around silk seagrass wallpaper. And you can actually see the joins, which is intentional. You can see the natural material of the weave and the warp and the weft in the textured paper, which is absolutely simply sumptuous. And that gives me the starting point for this room. Now, this is the dressing area. Now, a nice little top tip here, again, is if you've got some mirrors and you want to create, because this is actually the, the dressing area, what I've done is I've just taken some velvet and I've made these frames up and padded them. And you'll see what it does is it gives me the link that holds the room together. And you'll see when I show you that, oh, there's me. And you'll see the headboard in a second but it gives a beautiful effect on just what is a standard piece of mirror. Now this area, obviously because it is the show home and dressed by me and not the lady who lives here, this would be an excellent area for a dressing table with loads and loads of open plan storage. Again, we've done the same trick with the blinds and the edging detail, as well as, and yes, we talk about this every week, but here's my favourite fabric at the moment. And you'll see it perfectly situated here in this master bedroom. So looking back through into the hallway areas, and I'm talking once again about wall art. So if you're not upholstering framed mirrors, you can find a series of beautiful artwork. So this is blending 
because we've got a kind of Art Deco chrome effect down here, but it's bringing that kind of copper effect in again, which really pulls the whole design together. And then, here we go for the money shot. It's your master bedroom, which is an absolutely stunning effect. Again, we have the wallpaper, which wraps around. We've taken a series of velvets, created a symmetrical, fantastically proportioned headboard, slightly oversized. Which takes again into, this is below the dining area upstairs. We have a beautiful dressing area here, looking out onto the street. And looking back, little series of tables, plenty of room to play with space here. And there we have it, all pulled together. And that was for you, Margaret Gemmell, to let you have a look at that chandelier, which is made from pieces of glass, again, from Cotterill & Co. And I love the fact that it's bringing upstairs geometric feeling again. But here we have what can only be described and discussed as a sumptuous, almost like staying in a hotel bedroom. Now, these beds that I've put in here are very simply divans, which is a bed base. But in each case, there's storage underneath them, so you can lift them up for extra storage underneath. Lighting also key. Beautiful bedside cabinets. Again, pulling all the designs together. It's been so easy to do what everyone else is doing just now, which is a case of using silvers and greys. But I've introduced the copper there and the linen shades to create some ambience and warmth. That's a lovely close-up detail of the finish there. And again, in the mid color upstairs, we saw the white and we saw the dark gray. In this bathroom here, we have the mid gray. Again, with the same principles, with the rectangular tile, marble, gloss on the wall, recessed cabinet, going down into the floor area, which is the square format in a non-slip and a beautiful walk-in shower. Now, all of the fabrics that you see are from collections that I have in my library. So I have actually created these. So I chose this velvet and matched it with a velvet panel. And again, created the same effect with the cushion. I didn't want to overdo it here, but just by simply changing the direction of the stripe and the way you lay them, just rings the changes. And that, I think would be a lovely, I would love to wake up there one Sunday morning instead of me standing outside waiting to get in. <laughs> um, a great proportion sized room. And even if you do this on a smaller scale, the principles here, symmetry, bedside lamps, good sized height headboard, and the mirrors either side of the bed, not only reflect the light, but give an almost architectural appearance. Thank you, Gary. Five star boutique look. That was exactly what I wanted to do. Now, these apartments are fantastic because they have little hidey holes of utilities. Fantastic. Can never have enough storage. And because in each case, what I've tried to do is bring the blend of luxury through, but you'll see coming up into the area, which is actually you enter the apartment on this level and what I've tried to do is just create an atmosphere an ambience that works so well again bringing the greys in with the coppers and marbles so in this apartment we also have some guest bedrooms I've decided just to show you everything today because I can't keep it all in now this I love Again, the simple divan. And in this case, the art of upholstery have made all my headboards. I've done a wall to wall 
almost, or the width of the bed plus the bedside cabinets in a deep buttoned textured velvet headboard, which really gives that boutique chic feel. I've taken some contemporary, almost like a sort of Chanel effect, velvet tweed effect, and piped it in the same fabric as the headboard. The bedsides bring the chevron effect in again, which is very in vogue just now. It's a kind of more relaxed geometric, beautiful marble-based lamps with simple white linen shades. And the wallpaper, which I've put everywhere here, is a series of almost like marquetry timber, which is different grains of timber going in different directions. You sometimes see this effect on tabletops or on cabinets, cabinetry, uh, in different shades of woods, and really good um, cabinet makers will be able to give you this effect in furniture. Um, but this is a wallpaper effect, just really does look magical. So coming back round here again, what we'll do is we'll see a kind of similar effect on the chandelier. I've adopted the same system in all of the windows in the bedrooms, which includes a blackout motorised blind with the feature trim, and the voils can close wall to wall, which means at night time you do have a wall of fabric which gives a little bit of softness. Now the wallpaper is from a company called Tectura, who I've been using for many, many years, and it works so well. And this bedspread I actually got from QVC, shopping channel, um, but you could have them made. And I've teamed it up with a lovely look, which is in all the top class hotels. It's either plain white linen or this lovely waffle effect, which sits perfectly with the texture of the cushion, brings another look in and ties in the finishes over to a little chair in the corner, just if you're reading a book, perhaps. You know, we all love to read books, Stephen Gormley, in the corner of the room with a nice cushion on it and a matching mirror. So this is a lovely concept for a guest bedroom. And who wouldn't like to spend some time in that room? And going back into the hallway again, we have little storage areas. These apartments are stacked full of technology, but you would never know because everything's hidden in beautiful cabinets. But it's quite nice to have a break of pace, even if you just feel sometimes that you have an alcove, I don't know what to do with it. You could line it out in a timber, create some storage, and create a little break of pace Again, more storage up here. Now, the other bedroom here is a little bit more, let's say a little warmer, a little bit more funky, maybe more for a teenager or still lovely for a guest bedroom. But again, the principles of this whole design were neutrals, silvers and greys, chevrons, and introducing the all important copper effect. So all in all, with all these boards together, you see there's a concept running through, but they all have their own individuality. So what I've done this time is a very simple, again, divan base in a linen, and I've matched it onto a simple soft stitch, which you'll see there, soft stitch headboard in a sort of, it's almost like a soft cotton. And you'll see the blend of that with the wallpaper there, again from Tektura, really pulls this design together. Again, the same principles. We have the blackout roller blind and I've matched the edge of that into the cushions on the bed, which obviously a little Ted is loving. Good morning, little Ted. But what we have here is a series of funky faux fabrics. So we have cowhide. We've done something a little bit unusual on the bedside cabinets again and they're geometrically placed differently. And this is a good tip if you want to introduce a warmer effect into your lighting without going to the expense of 
maybe very expensive bulbs, which in this case was essential because this cage lamp was screaming out for a filament light bulb. But see if you buy shades that are lined in copper or gold, that instantly gives you the warmth and glow of the room. The same principles apply with the bedding, the waffle effect and texture. And looking back from there, back into the hall area with mirrors and texture, I think you'll agree, create a little bit, just because it's another smaller bedroom, but this is still super sized. Again, we've got the wall to wall or full width window fabrics, but this gives an identity. And I think it's important when we get to maybe second and third bedrooms that we keep, keep the thought that just because it is a second or third or a guest bedroom or even it has a bed sofa in it, that what you have is something that is a talking point. So this, this project, and I will post the boards on some stills from today as well to let you see the whole look running together, has been an absolute pleasure to do. And working with the builders to make sure that this interior would inspire many people to look at their homes in different ways, I think has become really, really, um, really, really a strong look. So the voils are from a company called Jab, who are one of my suppliers again. And I'm going to pop the camera back on the stand. Pop you round. I'm going to take a little seat here at the breakfast bar. Um, and if you've got any questions coming through, if you'd like me to answer them now, now's the perfect time to do it. Uh, as I say, I will take some stills and show you the boards with the finished look. You can also go online to Park Quadrant Residences and have a look through the fly through where you can revisit this. Or you go onto my YouTube channel during the week, which is youtube.com forward slash John Amabley Design. And you'll be able to revisit this um, and I'll be able to add some more details. But the key points from today, I think for you to remember when you're designing your own home or you're looking to buy a new home, is think about the things that may cost you a lot of money when you move in that you might want to change, which would be kitchens and bathrooms. This was excellent because starting from scratch, it's all done for you. But the key points from today is make sure each room has an identity. And I believe that even if every room has a different function, sleeping, bathing, cooking, eating, you can have a thread of design running through which allows you to create an overall ambience, but don't just leave some areas, well, that's the third bedroom, I won't bother with that. Just make sure there's a little theme coming through. And especially once again, as I mentioned, what we do have here is the open plan, living, kitchen, dining. And apart from, as one of the viewers said earlier about a noisy kettle, um, get a quieter kettle, or in this case, as I have at home as well, a hot water tap. Um, any questions coming through, as I've said, everything, if you've seen anything that you're interested in, uh, send me a, a personal message and I can work out a quote for you or tell you who the supplier it is. But when we talk about open plan living, we're talking about textured wallpapers, we're talking about voils at the window, we're talking about dressing your windows, we're talking about bringing in themes of copper and chevrons, um, and just start, have a look at, the, at last week's video because um, you'll see the boards that I spoke, talked through. So what I'll do this week is do the posts of the boards and the rooms and you'll see exactly how it all came together. But I hope you have enjoyed this. I have so enjoyed getting out of the house on a Sunday morning and coming into what has been, for Claudia and I, a great job to work with, with Ambassador Homes and Park Quadrant Residences. Um, we've helped so many people who are living here realise their dream and make sure that we get their personality across in their home, whether it's a three bedroom apartment or some of the penthouses or these superb duplexes. All in all, I hope you've enjoyed it. Think outside the box. Think about the warmth, think about 
moving yourself from blues and greys and silvers, get some copper in there, get some natural greens, get some autumnal shades, and please, please be creative. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll be seeing you next Sunday and watch out during the week for more top tips on how to make sure you are simply living your dream and living in your dream. Thank you.